As much as Bud Light wants to quit Dylan Mulvaney, it can't. It cannot shake their brief relationship with the trans influencer. And it was brief, only one day. But Bud Light has now started a new relationship, a $100 million deal with the UFC, and that has its own problems. Here is MMA fighter Sean Strickland. You know how I feel about transgenders. I go hard, just what I do. I'm the biggest advocate of biological females. If I said my views on transgenders, I would get kicked off Instagram. Uh, yeah, and he said a lot of things that we probably can't air here on this program. Sean Strickland says he's going to fix Bud Light and applauds them for, quote, doing the right thing. Bud Light's decision, of course, didn't have anything to do with right or wrong, but rather dollars and cents. Revenue for the parent company, InBev, was down 13 percent. They noted that sales to retailers were down primarily due to the volume decline of Bud Light. Here now, editor and publisher of Beer Business Daily, Harry Schumacher. Harry, it's good to see you. As always, you kind of predicted this whole thing uh, would happen and it would play out in this way. We're glad to have you back. Until Bud Light has, and I hate to use this term, some type of moral clarity over who their customer is and what their customer wants, is it possible for them to recover? Uh, well, I, it hasn't so far, Leland. I mean, they've the Bud Light itself has been down in volume about 30 percent since June, and it's stuck exactly there, right between 27 and 31 percent. It really hasn't moved, and it hadn't gotten better despite all the spending, the vast increase in marketing spending over the summer, and uh, new partnerships like you mentioned, the UFC, which is just getting started. Um, but they released their earnings this morning, and I guess the good news is is that they haven't lost any more share, and so that that's the current spin. But it's still it's still rough for those guys. Yeah, uh, from the Hill, how a fifteen thousand Bud Light giveaway needlessly cost InBev twenty seven billion, referring to their market cap, um, and and obviously the Dylan Mulvaney thing continues to snowball. I guess the question is, and you report on this, has there been any thought among the executives at Bud Light to just issue a mea culpa and say, hey, look, we're sorry, we screwed up, we're going to learn from this? Or uh, from a political correctness standpoint, are they unable? Uh, they're unable. Um, you know, I, it, first of all, it's not part of AB's culture to ever issue a, a mea culpa. It hasn't been that way huh? for 100 years. Um, they've always been the largest brewery in the world by far, and they uh, they know it. Um, as far as Emil Copa, but I think you're right. Politically, with and a lot of their own employees would have issue with it, and it you know issuing an apology would be a, an admission that they did something wrong, and that is a tough thing to navigate in the today's political environment. Yeah. It, it really is. So this is Dana White of the UFC talking about things. Take a listen. They do a lot of great things. They employ 65,000 people in this country. They take care of farmers. I'm going to focus on the good that they do. We are very aligned in many different areas. Can simply hiring one group, one, one influencer cancel out Another influencer, especially when there's now people who are saying, hey, we're not going to buy Bud Light because of the connection to the UFC. Once you've taken a stand on one thing, don't you kind of have to own that and take a stand on everything? Uh, no, I, I don't think AB feels it in those kind of uh, that kind of framing. And I think Dana White, I mean, that you couldn't ask for better PR, unearned PR. I mean, you know, he laid down all the veterans they've supported, um, the farmers they support, uh, uh, the Folds of Honor. You know, they've done that for years, and for them to say it, it's not as resonating. And, you know, Dana White made a point to say, yeah, you know, I don't, it's not about the money. I already have enough money. Um, this is about values. And, you know, the other thing that's really not being reported much is this is also a global deal. And remember, Modelo, right. The, the, the took over the number one spot for Bud Light in the United States is owned by Constellation only in the United States. And Azure Bush owns Modelo everywhere else. And so huh. they couldn't do a global deal. And so I think that, that was attractive to the UFC. Yeah, it's kind of funny when I think about uh, you said when they said, you know, it's not about the money. Um, normally when tells you somebody tells you what it's not about, that's exactly 
uh, what it's about. <laughs> you know that as a journalist. I've, le I've learned that as well. It's good to see you. Thank you uh, very right. much. The saga continues, and you will be back, Thank sir. You. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.